Hey guys, what's up? So today I am going to do a little double shot tutorial video. Um, I know Castle has one and I'll link it here for you if you haven't seen it already. I know a lot of people have. But I get asked a lot on how to be like super accurate with it. So I figured I would do a short little video with some tips and pointers on how to be just a little bit more accurate with it. Um, now if you're on PlayStation VR, it's, it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, but uh, Oculus and Vive, not too bad. I'm not too sure about Windows Mixed Reality and how that works. But uh, yeah, go ahead and get into it a little bit and give you some tips and pointers and try and get you a little more accurate. Okay, in case you don't know what the double shot is, and if you watch my channel, I'm sure you do, or you've seen somebody in-game do it. Essentially what it is, is instead of pulling back one arrow every time you draw the bow, you can get two arrows. And how this is done is the hand that you would draw back the arrow with, instead of just pulling the trigger that one time, you double click it as you're pulling back the bow, and that will give you the second arrow. There is a little bit of timing involved, trying to figure out exactly when to start your double click, because if you do it too soon, you'll have one arrow that kind of falls to the floor, and if you do it too late, you might only get one arrow or neither one. Also. You kind of have to be quick with the bow. If you're really slow with the, the forward hand, uh, even if you get the timing good, you may uh, have one fall down to the floor. So it's just kind of finding that sweet spot. This takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, um, it's super easy. Okay, so what I really try to do when I'm trying to be extremely accurate and trying to hit those long range targets is I kind of try to imagine like a rod or something coming out of my shoulder here. And what you want to do is keep this bow hand on that straight path the whole way. And also with the hand that you're pulling back on, you're going to want to keep it as centered as possible on that line. Any kind of wavering, especially with the back hand, is going to cause a lot of inaccurate shots. So just trying to be straight back and forth on this line. I'll try and get you like a uh, POV here. Let's see. Okay, so what you're going to do is, as you're shooting, you're just going to keep this along this line and keep this along that line. So just as straight as possible, and that's going to give you the most accurate shots. And another thing I like to do is I kind of like to rest my back hand on my shoulder here. And I will wait to pull the trigger to even fire the arrows until that uh, hand has hit the shoulder. And that way that hand is completely stopped, it can't move anymore, and it will uh, not cause any wavering. And I'll just double click right here sitting on my shoulder. And also by that time the bow hand has fully extended and it's stopped, and usually that's how you're going to get the most accurate ones is when both of them aren't moving at all anymore. So I'll just kind of pull back and then once I hit this finishing spot, that's when I'll usually double click, kind of like that. And if you get really good at doing that right there, you'll be extremely accurate. That's what I do anyway. So I hope that helped you guys out to be a little more accurate with your double shots. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.